there's a lot of people that watches tarot readings. And it looks like to me, some of these people are triggering the crap out of you. That's what I'm going to say. Because these messages are very helpful of who I look at and what I post of saying thank you for the message is because I like their advice. It's meaningful. And it says a lot. That you're being triggered over something that I needed to know. And you know, there's thousands of people out there that would like to hear messages too. That they probably need to know as well too. I don't know why you're triggered by tarot and spiritual people. They scare you. Spiritual people scares you so badly out here you're triggered by that you're triggered by spiritual people you're triggered at the messages they give out <clears throat> and the only thing i could think of is why you're triggered so badly is because you're freaked out you don't understand or you're just a spiritual hater these type of comments, I've seen your comments a lot of times. I have. I've paid attention to your comments. I cheerfully think that you're secretly a gang stalker. And you're trying to pull reverse psychology. You're trying to play games here that I really don't think you need to be doing. I've seen some things before how the way people talks and that's the thing though spirituality scares you people with spiritual gifts scare you and you think it's normal to insult every person out there that is spiritual Looks like somebody's got you brainwashed out here on a very bad level. That's what I'm saying, though. So, whenever I see comments like this, this is secretly a gang stalker, and they're pretending to be all nicey-nicey. That's what gang stalkers will do. They'll literally like try to brainwash you. They're going to try to make you think. Like gang stalkers will try to confuse your mind. They will literally try to question your own reality. That's what gang stalkers do to people. This is how gang stalkers speak towards you. It's because this is how they feel about themselves it's a projection there's nothing wrong of watching tarot readers and it seems like you're triggered by the people that i watch that says a lot about you you have some fears in you that you need to work on you need to heal yourself This is how gang stalkers will try to mess with you, too. Gang stalkers think all oh, this is normal, and it's not normal. They run with the cults, secret societies, trying to mess with you and play with you. And then once they do get figured out, they get mad at you. There's some witches in the category warlocks practitioners dark witches dark magic i just think it's really comical 
that you're wishy-washy. I'm good because I know who I am. I know who I work with and I'm good. I know my ancestors are protecting me and I know God's protecting me. But what about you? Are you saying this stuff because you are on a believer? Did you do something to where God turned his back on you and said he don't know you? You're messing with a lot of people. Now I'm hearing a lot of walking going on in my apartment. <clears throat> Someone's pacing back and forth who's not too happy right now. That's even confirmation that you're possibly a gang stalker, that you're trying to brainwash people into thinking stuff. You're trying to make people believe like you and God and my ancestors are not going to let that happen. I don't know what type of games you're playing with like alchemists or alchemies. I don't know why you're playing with angelic protection, archangels protection, God's protection, my ancestors protection against stuff like this. Now I'm hearing more confirmation. Someone's pacing. Someone's irritated at you. What have you done to someone? Someone's irritated at you. Either in the afterlife or someone is spiritually showing up. What have you done? What, you working with the cult, the secret society? You're working with sex traffickers or something? You pretty much think that's normal. You think it's normal to brainwash people. I don't know. I don't know what your dealio is. But I recommend you to you better stop playing with God and my ancestors. And you better quit playing with certain spirits out here. Because they're not too happy. That's why they were walking in my apartment. I heard it. Someone's pacing back and forth. Their, their patience with you is very thin. That tells me right there, there's something wrong about you. That you're not to be trusted. And I do get signs. And downloads about you for a while. You're wishy-washy, you're off. On certain things. And my ancestors has been watching this. God has been watching this. You have some type of vendetta. That you're trying to hide. Some of your true character. That you probably should end up in prison. That you probably need to stop gang stalking people. And you probably need to quit trying to brainwash people. Into thinking that it's okay of what others do in secret societies, the occult, and stuff like that. The FBI, the CIA, trust me. You've already mentioned something to me about a sex traffickers towards me. That tells me right there, the only people that wants me to know that stuff is if you're working with them. You're either the occult, you're the secret society, you're the FBI, or you're the CIA, or you're some type of police officer that wanted to try to scare me. That's who truthfully works for sex traffickers. And you didn't think I didn't know that. Now I don't hear nobody walking. There's somebody who's getting very, very thin with you being all my stuff you gotta remember God knows all and sees all and there's something off about you that you're projecting 
You're doing Rico crimes. You're projecting your insecurities onto someone else, which you need to go and heal yourself. You need to quit brainwashing people. You need to quit gang stalking people before you end up in prison. And you need to stop doing Rico on people and stop being a part and getting cards from the police and the FBI or from the CEOs. Everything's quit, everything's quiet. So that means I must be correct on what I'm feeling and what I'm saying because that spirit did not leave until I figured out what your issue is, what your problem is. This is being watched also in the spiritual realm. Only people that warned you about gang stalking and possibly being sex trafficked is because you are working with one of these people and they made you a victim where it can make you go to prison. You're doing organization crimes. That's RICO. That's organization. That they put you in the middle of it where you know you can go down. That's why you don't want to show your face. The reasons why you're saying stop gang stalking us citizens is because all the corrupted all the people who are doing wrong is afraid of going down and going to prison or going to jail. And you're trying to stand up for the wrong out here. You're either the cult, you're either the secret society, or you are a police, or you're the FBI, a CIA, or you're a CEO. Doing all this stuff towards people. And you're afraid you're next of going to prison. You're afraid of going to federal prison next. Because your people has already been locked up. You're fearful of that. That's what you're scared of. You need to work on yourself. And quit projecting your stuff onto other people. Because you're pretty much saying about you. Do not come in and tell me what my reality, what I should think. Because that's brainwashing me. That you're trying to tell me what I should believe in and what I shouldn't believe in. That's what gang stalkers do. I know what I believe in. I know my own reality. It's my reality. Nobody can come in and change that. God and the ancestors have been watching this heavily. And there's a lot of people who went down. Whoever speaks upon Rico, Recatering. I already looked all this stuff up. I already know what it is. I know what it's about. They purposefully break your rights. They purposefully gang stalk someone to get them to kill themselves or they kill that individual. Or they try to get others to get involved to do their dirty work. And there's police involved in this. Their CEOs had a part in this. They have a part in sex trafficking people. So do your research. And understand what you're saying to me. I've already looked all this stuff up. I've already looked up about a lot of things. It's reverse psychology. It's gaslighting. It's projecting. Projectioning. Projecting. Projection. This is how you feel about yourself. The practitioners... All this weird stuff who they work with. 
the ancestors are going to let it be known. Now my ears are ringing. You're not a person to be trusted out here. You're wishy-washy. You're helping someone. And it could be that maybe you had a part in when someone tried to put a hit out on me in Lafayette. So you better quit. Because I do have documents and proof of what people has been doing towards me. And who was involved. And it's, it's a long list of names. It's a long list of men and women who got caught in the long run. Who's constantly done things. And I also have documents of police doing dirty shit. That's very corrupted. And if they find out that you're just mad and triggered by what I watch, you're the one who has a serious problem. You have no issue with me. You have the issue of the fact of somebody just minding their own business, listening to messages, and that bothers you. That triggers the hell out of you. Which that means you're not healed. You got some demons attached to you that they're taking over you and you're trying to make everybody else have attachments to your demons. God said, I don't think so. Not today, Satan. Just know that and understand that. You're very wishy-washy out here. Your comments don't even make any sense to me. Anyways, if you're triggered because of anybody I watch with tarot or someone who's given a spiritual download messages and you're getting triggered that's a problem you can't handle resentment anger mad hateful revengeful want to do something that always backfires just like i said it makes you mad and you're triggered by what these other readers are saying. If you don't like what they say, you don't have to listen to it. It triggers you because you know it's the truth. And I've noticed that. I believe in spirituality. I also got spiritual gifts myself. But I know better not to disrespect another terror reader because you will be cursed by you constantly bad mouthing gifted people out here. That's why you're triggered. That's why you can't handle certain things I watch. It's because every time you open your mouth and you want to say stuff like that. Towards anybody who is getting spiritual downloads, which would mean a light worker. That's doing God's work. That's being a God's messenger on earth. That God gave us the message. And we're supposed to explain it the best way that we can out there. That's who you don't badmouth out here. Because if you're saying this, then you're insulting God. You got a problem with him, not with me. And if you don't believe me, you better have the guts and man up or boss up. Have the guts to ask the man upstairs if you're brave enough to. But this is all I got to say. Hope you guys have a lovely day.